Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of describing the coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have Carmela. Carmela is plotting an ordered pair right here of 1, 3 on a coordinate grid. All right, so let's, let's visualize this a little bit here. So I'm going to draw my coordinate grid. All right, so I know that the line that goes horizontally is my x-axis. Starts at 0 right there, and I'm just going to... I don't need a lot, so I'll just go ahead and just make my, my 1, 2, and 3 kind of spaced out. And then my line that goes vertically also starts with 0. That's my y-axis. All right, so that's going to be my 1, my 2, my 3. All right, so there's an approximation of a coordinate grid here. And so what we're trying to do here is plot the ordered pair 1, 3. And this is what Carmela did. So Carmela moved one up and three left from the origin. So which statement is true? Well, hold on. Let's make sure we understand what that is. So your origin is right there. It's where the two axes meet. And so uh, that's where you have a zero, zero. So if you're looking at an ordered pair for the origin, all right, it's the starting points where the two axes meet. It's 0, 0. So first off, let's plot it correctly. Right? So when we're looking at the ordered pair, 1, 3, they give it to us an order of x and y. So we always start with our x coordinate. So our x coordinate is 1. So starting from the origin, we're going to go to 1. So that's this right here. And then we're going to go to our y coordinate, which is 3, which is way up here. Right? So x and then y, so it looks like something around there. So let me just go ahead and label that. That's 1, comma, 3. So that's how we would plot that. Start with the x, then do the y, over, and then up. So let's see what it said Carmela did. By moving 1 up, interesting. So Carmela went 1 up right here. And then three units left. Whoa. All right. So we got to go this way. Uh, so this is something we'll get into in sixth grade. Negatives. Okay. And also it goes down for negative y. So we got a negative x here. So one up and three to the left. Okay. So that's, that's where Carmilla ended up right there. Uh, guess what that is? The x is negative 3, and the y is 1 right there. So wrong quadrant, right? Everything we learn in uh, fifth grade is in quadrant 1. This is way over here in quadrant 2. And you notice how Carmela went up first and then uh, left, which is the wrong direction, but side to side second. Those need to be flipped, right? You need to go side to side first. That's the x, and then up and down second. So let's see. Carmela plotted both the x coordinate and the y coordinate incorrectly. Yeah. Look, Carmela is supposed to be up here. She ended up way down there. They both look incorrect. So that's looking pretty good. Let's see. Carmela plotted the x coordinate incorrectly and the y coordinate correctly. Okay. So it's one right and one wrong. No, they're both wrong because this is where she should have been, and this is where she ended up. Carmela plotted the x-coordinate correctly, the y-coordinate incorrectly. All right, so that's the, that's the opposite of g. Um, that's no. Oh, and then j. That makes sense. The last option for j is both the x and the y-coordinate are done correctly. No. Uh, the, you're, you're off the grid. You're out of the quadrant. Definitely did not plot them correctly. So our answer here is going to be F.